I'm Lindsay Theory. This is Gary Klein. We're on the campus of USC to preview the Trojans receivers in the 2015 season. Three starters named Juju Smith Schuster, Stephen Mitchell and Darius Rogers. Gary, that's quite the combination. It's a big combination with some name changes, right? Yeah. Juju Smith Schuster. Just Steve, call him Juju. Juju. Just call him Juju. Stephen Mitchell Jr. So there's a, a little bit of name changing going on there. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if they step up and, and really fill these roles. Juju Smith Schuster is going to be the number one receiver going in to replace Nelson Aguilar. What's what Stephen Mitchell bring? Yeah, to the Steve, table? Stephen Mitchell's in the slot. He's obviously been slowed the last couple of seasons with various injuries. But he's really shown an ability to catch the ball and take off with it. And I think fans are going to see a really shifty guy on the inside. And then you go back to the outside, and it's another big receiver, Darius Rogers, who seems to catch everything that comes his way. He's had a terrific spring. He had a really good training camp. He looks like he stepped up. Now, he had a great training camp, I thought, last year, too. And he didn't get the ball quite as much as I thought he might and some fans might think. But he looks ready to, to step into a major role. One of the more exciting players to on offense, I should say, is Adoree Jackson. He's one of the most exciting players on defense. It's going to be interesting to see just how many snaps they let him play on the offensive side of the ball, but besides flips into the end zone, mm -hmm. what do you think fans can expect to see from him? I think they'll see him lined up all over the field, wide in the slot, sometimes even in the backfield. That, that play he made in the Holiday Bowl was, was him coming in motion out of the backfield. So. Adoree Jackson, it remains to be seen how much they use him. These first two games against Arkansas State and Idaho, are, I mean, they're like scrimmages, I think, for USC. So they're going to have to experiment with how they're going to use them for when they get to their, the meat of their schedule, the Stanfords and Arizona States. And finally, USC added two more scholarship receivers, transfers from junior colleges, Daquan Hampton and Isaac Whitney. Both of those guys should be in the mix, but I think it remains to be seen really how much they'll be used. Right. Both big, tall targets for Cody Kessler, who has said he welcomes you know, the opportunity to have guys that size. And I think some of the guys that are maybe below the radar, Christian Tober, who's a walk-on, who has stood out in training camp for a number of years, a guy that probably would star at maybe a smaller school. I think he gets some opportunities this year. And Jalen Green, uh, who moved from quarterback to receiver, has looked good, and he may also get some opportunities. And USC also added Blue Shore recruit Deontay Burnett, so they have quite the stockpile of receivers. We'll just have to see how they use them. USC opens on Saturday against Arkansas State. Be sure to keep it on the Los Angeles Times for the latest on the Trojans.